I just did a uh, several videos on the binomial theorem, so I think it's and now that they're done, I think now is a good time to do the proof of the derivative of the general form. So let's take the derivative of x to the n. And now that we know the binomial theorem, we have the tools to do it. So well, how do we how do we take the derivative? Well, what's the classic definition of the derivative? It is the limit. The limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x, right? So f of x plus delta x in this situation is x plus delta x to the nth power, right? Minus f of x. Well, f of x here is just x to the n. All of that over delta x. And now that we know the binomial theorem, we can figure out what this what the expansion of x plus delta x is to the nth power. And if you don't know the binomial theorem, go to my pre-calculus playlist and watch the videos on the binomial theorem. So the binomial theorem tells us that this is equal to, and let me I'm going to need some space for this one. The limit as delta x approaches 0. And what's the binomial theorem tells us? This this is going to be equal to, I'm just going to do the numerator, x x to the n plus n choose 1. And once again, review the binomial theorem if this is looks like Latin to you and you don't know Latin. n choose 1 of x to the n minus 1 delta x plus n choose 2 x to the n minus 2, that's x n minus 2, delta x squared, right? Delta x squared, and then plus, and we have a bunch of the digits. And in this proof, it actually, you know, we don't have to go through all the digits, but the binomial theorem tells us what they are. And of course, the last digit, you know, we just keep adding, is going to be 1. Well, you know, you could say it would be n choose n, which is 1. Let, let me just write that down. n choose n. And it's going to be x to the 0 x to the 0 times delta x times delta x to the n, right? So that's the binomial expansion. And let me switch back to minus. So all of that's what I, that green, that's x plus delta x to the n. So minus x to the n. Minus x to the n power. That's x to the n. I know I squunched it there. All of that over delta x. Let's see if we can simplify. So first of all, we have an x to the n here, and at the very end, we subtract out an x to the n, so these two cancel out, right? And then if we look at every term here, every term in the numerator has a delta x, right? So we can divide the numerator uh, and the denominator, essentially, by delta x, right? We could. This is the same thing as 1 over delta x times this whole thing. So that is equal to, let me, the limit is delta x approaches 0 of, so we divide the top and the bottom by delta x, or we multiply the numerator times 1 over delta x, we get n choose 1, x to the n minus 1. What's delta x divided by delta x? Well, that's just 1, right? Plus n choose 2, x to the n minus 2. This is delta x squared, but when we divide by delta x, we just get a delta x here, delta x, and then we have a you know we keep having a bunch of terms. We're going to divide all of them by delta x, right? And then the last term is delta x to the n, but now we're going to divide that by delta x. So the last term is becomes n choose n, n choose n. X to the zero is one, so we can ignore that. Delta x to the n divided by delta x. Well, that's delta x to the n minus one, right? And then what are we doing now? Well, remember, we're taking the limit as delta x approaches 0. So as, as delta x approaches 0, pretty much every term that has a delta x in it, it becomes 0, right? We just, you know, when you multiply by 0, you get 0. So every term, af this first term has no delta x in it, but every other term does. Every other term, even after we divide it by delta x, has a delta x in it. So that's a 0. Every term is 0. All of the other, I don't know, what is it, n minus 1 terms, they're all 0. So all we're left with is that this is equal to n choose 1 
of x to the n minus 1. And what's n, mi n choose 1? That equals n factorial over 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial times x to the n minus 1. 1 factorial is 1. And you know, if, if I have 7 factorial divided by 6 factorial, that's just 7. Or if I have 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial, that's just 3. You can work it out. 10 factorial divided by 9 factorial, that's 10. So n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial, that's just equal to n. So this is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So that's the derivative of x to the n, n times x to the n minus 1. So we just proved the derivative for um, any, well, for any positive integer, uh, when the when x to the power n, where n is any positive integer. And we see later it actually works for um, all uh, actually real numbers in the exponent. Um, so I will see you in a future video. See, I, oh, and another thing I wanted to point out is, you know, I, I said that we had to know the binomial theorem, but if you think about it, we really didn't even have to know the binomial theorem because we knew, you know, in, in any binomial expansion. I mean, you'd have to know a little bit, but if you did a little experimentation, you would realize that whenever you expand, you know, a plus b to the nth power, the first term is going to be a to the n, and then the second term is going to be plus n a to the n minus one b, right? And then you could keep having a bunch of terms, but these are the only ter terms that are relevant in this proof because. All the other terms get canceled out by, you know, when delta x approaches 0. So if you just knew that, you could have done this, but it's much better to do it with the binomial theorem. Ignore what I just said if it confused you. I'm just saying that we didn't you, you we could have just said oh, there, you know, there's the rest of these terms just all go to 0. Anyway, hopefully you found that fulfilling. I will see you in future